Hey guys, this is Nico and today I'll be talking about 5 harsh truths that nobody tells you about when it comes to selling online courses. I have a presentation for you today. I really like those presentations because it's much easier for me and I think it's much easier for you to digest the information. Let me know in the comments if I should stick to those presentations and yeah. Today, you're going to learn why your online courses and digital products will always fail. And I'm gonna talk about some of the things that nobody talks about. They're like a bunch of gurus, a bunch of social media marketing people, a bunch of like articles that tell you that having an online course is the best thing you could do and selling uh, a digital product is the best thing you could do. But most of that advice is wrong because if you wanna be successful, you need to be able to face some of the challenges and in these presentations in, I'm gonna give you some of the challenges that you're gonna face. I'm gonna mention five things that will prevent you from being successful, you know. I'm gonna talk about the non-sexy things that the gurus are not telling you because online courses is a great business but there are some things that are not that sexy and you need to know about those things. And I'm going to mention also what you need to do to get consistent revenue uh, with your online course sales. So I think it's going to be very cool, insightful presentation for you. So if you're a, a YouTuber, entrepreneur, course creator, whatever you want to call yourself, make sure you watch it to the very end. And I'm going to start with sharing my personal story. Um, and um, I started freelancing, right? Uh, and I went on Upwork uh, and I started selling uh, Facebook ads for people who sell online courses. And long story short, I ended up working with some very famous YouTubers, some very famous business owners, and I started doing campaigns for them. And to be honest with you, I'm super successful with like uh, Facebook ads and YouTube ads for people who sell online courses. I have cam campaigns that hit six figures. I had campaigns that hit seven figures. Pretty much I've crushed it. I've done great campaigns. I'm very proud uh, of my campaigns. I'm very proud um, for the people I work with. Most of my clients are great people and I'm super proud of what I did with my online course marketing career. But at one mo moment I was like, um, I'm making so much money for those people. Probably it's time for me to create my online course and start running ads and start advertising it. And it was like a great plan, you know? So I spent like four months uh, to create the course. I spent four months to create the marketing and I started running ads. I started running Facebook ads, YouTube ads. And I was like, oh, right now I'm gonna crush it. I have everything that I need to be successful. But at the very end, I spent around $2,000 on uh, Facebook ads, YouTube ads, email marketing to end up ju having just two sales. So I felt miserably. And I was like, oh man, I thought I'm this big shot marketer, you know. I have campaigns that are just like amazing. I have campaigns that are just genius. How come I cannot sell my own online course? And it was like a huge hit on my ego. It was a huge hit on my ego. But um, during the years, I realized that I made those five mistakes. And the first thing that I want to talk about, the first harsh truth, it's super difficult to sell an online course without an audience. Before creating an online course, it's going to be much easier if you already have an email list, if you already have YouTube subscribers. Um, it's gonna be much easier if you already have a group of people that know who you are, you know? So, uh, in my opinion, if you sell a $200 online course, that would be the best way to go about it. Build an audience, ask people on your audience what they want, and then create a product or an online course and then sell it to them. It's much easier said than done, but this is just kind of like the overall structure. Because if you don't have an audience, the competition is just like fierce, you know? You need to be extremely good at marketing to be able to pull this thing off. And 
no matter how good you are many of the people won't be able to buy right away because they don't know you and they don't trust you so if you think um, you'll be able to sell a $200 course right out of the gate without an audience without an email list and you don't have any marketing skills you're delusional I'm sorry to say it <laughs> just kidding it's gonna be difficult it's gonna be very difficult I don't advise you to do it um, and so yeah but you can still be successful right let's say that if you want to sell a two thousand uh, dollar course in my opinion if you don't have an audience it's going to be much easier you need to identify a customer avatar identify a niche build an offer and just start cold outreach get people on sales calls and you start closing deals again easier said than done but um it's a very um viable business um process a lot of people are doing it a lot of people without an audience are making huge money you know because they're good at code outreach they're good at building offers and they're good at closing deals um it's not an easy thing to do it's not an easy thing to do so sending code emails sending code outreach messages to people feels sleazy it feels unnatural um, if you build an offer the offer might not work straight out of the gate so you might need to change the offer you need to talk to people about your offer uh, why they don't like it why they don't buy so this process might take you quite a lot of time and I'm gonna talk about the offer in the next slide but if you want to go without an audience that would be the way to go PK high ticket product two thousand five thousand ten thousand um and just start cold outreach start selling to people close deals and you'll be good to go all you need to do that you just need an email address you can start today right and yeah the next harsh truth that nobody talks about um this is it's hard to find product to market fit you know um and it's just um a lot of people do it the opposite way a lot of people think oh that would be a great product then they create the product um and they're who wants to buy this product i've created this product this product is great but this product is not great because i made this mistake myself and i've created a product that nobody wants to buy and so i've wasted like eight months to have something that just sits on my computer and it's not useful you know what instead if you go to the market and as the market you can choose a specific niche for example you can go after uh business owners who sell uh, water bottles online it's like a super niche market uh, and you can go and talk to these people you can ask them about their challenges about their obstacles about their problems and you might hear answers such as pretty much everything is going great but i wish i could figure out email marketing and you can create an online course teaching um, business owners who sell uh, water bottles um how to use email marketing so because they already have the desire it's going to be very difficult to sell a product to a market that doesn't have the desire you know a lot of people might think that they could create the desire with their marketing but that's going to be super super expensive and it might not work so this is let me see this is the second harsh reality uh let me see how we're looking nine minutes okay and i'm gonna continue to the third harsh truth it's hard and it's super expensive to hire experts for an online business you know if you think about it in order for you to open a local business like a bakery you need a place you need to pay rent you need to get all the furniture all the utensils you need to hire like clerks and bakers so it has like a lot of hassle for sure but the online business also has similar products um whenever i read articles about online business people are like oh it's very easy to start you just need a website you just need an email list that's true 
But in order to build a successful online business, at some moments you need to hire experts. You need to hire copywriters. You need to hire Facebook ads guys. You need to hire YouTube guides. You need to hire developers. And in many cases, those people are difficult to find and they're expensive. So running a local business could be as expensive as running an online business. This would depend on what you want to do. Of course, um, I fully agree that um, it's super cheap to start an online business. You basically need a laptop, but you still might uh, face some situations where you need experts, where you hire one expert, it doesn't work, where you hire another expert, it doesn't work, and you end up spend like a bunch of money, and with the same amount of money, you'd be running a local bakery or something. So this is one of the things that I wanted to mention. Uh, the fourth truth, there is a huge learning curve to start an online business. Um, a lot of people make it sound easy, a lot of people make it sound sexy, but you need to learn a lot of things. You need to learn how to build websites. If you don't, if you don't wanna learn how to build a website, you need to hire a developer and developers are not uh, very cheap, you know? You need to learn sales, marketing, customer service, product development, project management, hiring. You might need to um, learn some digital skills such as editing videos, editing podcasts, uh, editing images, Photoshop, and a bunch of things that might be applicable to your online course and your niche. But no matter what you do, I'm 100% sure that you spent a big uh, chunk of your time learning new skills, uh, watching online courses, watching step-by-step -step tutorials, reading articles, talking to people how to do this specific thing. Um, so for some people for, who have like marketing experience or sales experience or background in project management or in hiring, it might be a little bit easier, but the better your skills, the more money you're gonna make. So as a online business owner, um, you need to, you have this desire to improve your skills and just hone those skills. The next thing that I want to talk about, harsh truth number five, this is digital products are harder to sell. Online courses are super hard to sell, in my opinion. You need a very persuasive uh, marketing process. Uh, the more expensive the online course, the harder it would be to sell it. So in order to just go to cold traffic or go to Facebook ads, uh, you need to be a very experienced marketer. Um, and I don't know many people who are able to do that, to be honest with you, because this is a skill that takes a, a long life learning. And I'm gonna give you this example. Um, if you wanna sell a $20 t-shirt, all you need to do, you 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 need to be like hey this is a t-shirt this is how the t-shirt looks like this is like the sizing info of the t-shirt this is like um the cotton or like how do you call this how the t-shirt is built you know but if you need to sell a 200 online course you need to talk about the benefits of the course you need to talk about how people can buy the course why people need to buy the course it would be very good if you could mention testimonials um, it would be um, very good if you could just position the course the right way, use the right angles, tell the right stories, you know. So uh, in my opinion, there are a lot more um, elements coming into uh, online course marketing. But as well, if you can figure online course marketing, you'll be highly rewarded because if you sell a $20 shirt, the profit would be like $5. But if you sell a $200 online course, the profit could be like $150 easily, you know, if we don't talk about taxes because this would depend on the state and the country you're living in. And yeah, um, in my opinion, um, the market and many people um, in the marketplace, they don't talk uh, enough about the difficulties you face when you sell online courses. And that's why I wanted to create this video. Okay, so if you have online courses and if you want to scale your online course business, if you're 
a YouTuber, entrepreneur, online, online course creator, please make sure check the links in the description because I specialize in helping people sell a lot more online courses and I helped quite a lot of people and I believe I can help you as well. So yeah, check the links in the description. My name is Nico. Make sure you subscribe to my channel uh, and I'm gonna talk to you soon. Bye now. <laughs>